Well, there's always announcement videos because things change quite quickly and I never know what's going on until sometimes a couple of hours before I'm supposed to go to work. Uh, but first of all, I want to say I'm having this Groundhog Day feeling again. So my mom sent me this Beofan BFF8HP, which claims dubiously 8 watts of power output on a 7.2 volt battery. Okay. Well, I wonder if that's possible. I know that some people have hooked up the UV82HP, which is a radio that I had, uh, up to a watt meter, and it, I don't know, it wasn't even 5 watts. I, I think it was like a watt and a half, watt and three quarters, two watts, something like that, maybe three. Uh, it certainly wasn't what it claimed. And I have a, I have my, my reservations on whether or not this thing can actually do 8 watts on a 7.2 volt battery, but we'll see, I guess, if somebody hasn't already done it already for me. But I have to say that the, the indications are pretty good that this radio might have a better chance of working uh, versus the uh, UV82HP that I bought so many years ago uh, that was a total piece of shit um, that didn't work. Uh, the instruction booklet has all the pages in it, and you can read it because it doesn't have that uh, horrible uh, Chinese translated into the English instruction manual. It actually is something that you can read and understand. It's very clear, very precise. And so there is uh, some hope there. I'll be talking about this in a couple of months uh, after I've had an opportunity to uh, use it and work on it and talk into it and see uh, exactly what kind of coverage this thing has. Uh, I want to talk about this real quick. I will be making an announcement video when it's uh, when they're being listed on eBay, but I have a whole bunch of shit that I need to get rid of, and I know that some of you are probably pretty interested in it, or maybe interested in it. So I wanted to give you plenty of time to save up money, and so I'm going to talk about it right now. Uh, when I do list it, I will make another video and post it here on YouTube, uh, so you can go and look for it, and and hopefully, uh, if you're interested, you can bid on it and buy it. Uh, but this is a Alfredo Light AM Stereo CQAM transmitter at 10 milliwatts. It's the low power version. Uh, this was manufactured uh, by the late Chris Cuff himself. I paid a lot of extra money for him to put it together for me because I knew I wasn't going to have time to do it. Turns out I didn't. And it would have never been built and made if not for him doing it for me. Comes in the case, which uh, a whole lot of these did not come with. Uh, usually people bought just the kit with the components. They put it together themselves. Uh, interestingly enough, uh, this one comes in a box. So this is a very rare species to have. Um, I paid a lot of extra money for that. And it comes in a box with a uh, antenna tuner. So uh, I'll, again, make a video when I'm ready to sell it. I'll make a video of it working so it I know that it's working when it leaves here and, and goes to your place once you've bought it. And then there is the Shea Radio Procaster FCC Part 15 Certified Transmitter. Uh, that's also going to be sold. And you're probably wondering, why are you selling all this stuff? Well, I'm, not, I'm never going to see it again. Um, it's just not going to happen. Uh, in the community college, I'm taking three to four classes each semester. I did take five uh, until it got to be too much because of where I work at, which is in retail. And retail sucks. Retail is so disorganized. It's a wonder that they didn't get anything done. Um, but I, it, I just don't have time to mess with this stuff. I'm going to be in school for probably the next six to eight years. So once I'm done with community college here, once I have have enough credits to transfer, I'm transferring to a four-year institution. Uh, that way I can get my degree faster instead of having to go through four years here and then another four years there. So, uh, yeah, I'm not going to see this stuff again. All that stuff in the storage unit has got to go. I, I'm just, I just don't see paying uh, for a storage unit for the next six to eight years uh, to keep what little stuff is in there that's valuable to me, which is not very much. So it needs to go. All that stuff needs to go. I'm keeping a few things. Everything else has got to go. And uh, there's a pretty good chance that some of it will end up on the, in the trash You'll end up at charity shops, but uh, I'm giving you an opportunity to buy some of this stuff. I have a lot more stuff that I'm going to sell that some of you may be interested in. And so I wanted to give you an opportunity to save up some money so you can buy your own very own special Christmas gift because you deserve it. 
You deserve it. I'm not looking to recoup all of the money that I paid for this stuff. Uh, I'm just looking to make a little bit of money. But the idea, the main idea here is that I'm never going to see it again. And it's a lot better if it goes to somebody that can actually use the thing instead of it getting ruined by me stepping on it or it dropping off a shelf or getting crushed in a box with a whole bunch of stuff on top of it. So it's it's got to go. And I don't want to pay $65 a month for the next six to eight years uh, with a storage unit full of stuff that's not worth no more than a couple thousand bucks, if that. I'd be lucky if that stuff is worth a thousand. So uh, it's got to go. And this is your vintage clock radios. Uh, and there's some other things in there. I've, I've actually, it's been so long, uh, I don't even know what I have in here anymore. But it's got to go. So, uh, yeah, just keep your eyes peeled for the announcement video when I sell the Alfredo Light in a case and the Shea Radio Procaster transmitter. And that's the first thing, first two things to go. And after that, uh, I'll work on the rest of it. But again, just keep your eyes peeled. That way you'll know when it's time to start bidding on it. Seven day auctions on eBay is the format. I will see you again hopefully very soon.